Hello everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslora123. In this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite subjects to talk about, and that is books. Books, books, books. So for those of you that don't know, I am a complete bookworm and a very proud bookworm. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you some new books that I've got. Also talking about a book that I've just finished reading and uh, showing you the book that I'm currently reading, which is amazing. Like seriously, this is so good. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Some of the books I got brand new. Some of them are from charity shops. Some are from the library. And over here, this one was actually sent to me from a publishing company because I'm going to be doing a separate video with this book and like doing a review of it and stuff. How cool is this packaging that they sent it in? It's so cool. It's like holographic, like silver color. So awesome. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a review with this book. Um, it's by Claudia Gray and it's called Defy the Stars. Heard a lot of good things about this. So yeah, very excited to have got that. So let's get started with the book that I've just finished reading. Like literally yesterday I finished reading this book. I read it in like two days, I think. It was just so good. Honestly, I really, really recommend this book. It's by Cat Clark. It's called Girlhood. And um, it says Sugar and Spice and Scars for Life. Now, I'm going to say something which I know is probably like the most ridiculous thing to say because a lot of my viewers love her. But... I am very honest in life. I always tell it how it is, you know. So I'm going to have to be honest and say I'm not actually a fan of the YouTuber Zoella. All right. And <laughs> like she's not like horrible or anything. It's just she's just not for me. Like her personality just is just not for me. I don't know what it is. And I just don't watch her videos. Like I just I don't know. Like I have respect for her because she's done so well with her YouTube and everything else. But I don't know. I just don't really like her as in like I don't want to watch her videos and stuff anyway the reason I'm talking about Zoella and you probably will hate me right now because you're big Zoella fans but um the reason I'm talking about is this book was in the Zoella book club in WH Smith's and I have to say I've had quite a few books from her book club selection and they've been great like seriously now I don't know if she actually reads these books and recommends them or it's kind of like a bit of a publicity gimmick Oh yeah, this is a Zoella book club and she's never actually read them. I don't know. But whoever's read them and selects them, it's all good because they always select some great books. And this was one of them. Um, so yeah, Girlhood, absolutely amazing. Cat Clark is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful author. Wow, <laughs> just so good. And because of this book being so good, um, here you can see some of the other books she's done. And what I did, I went on eBay and ordered some, also at the library as well, which I'll show you the other books that I've got from her in a moment. But yeah, this book is just so good. Like, it's funny, but it's also dark. It's also interesting. It's emotional. It's, I don't know, just it makes you think. It makes you feel something. And I felt very, like, connected with a lot of the characters in this book. Like sometimes I read a book and I just feel connected to just like one of the characters or maybe two. But I literally had something like in common with a few of the characters, which, you know, a cool thing to have, you know, in the book. And I just really love the story of the friendship and um, the way it dealt with certain issues, which are a bit taboo. People don't really like talking about, but it was dealt with very good, including like anorexia and grief and also LGBT, it was just great, it really was, and it was so well wrote, and just absolutely fantastic, loved it, so that's Girlhood, and um, because of that, I went and got, so I've got this one by Cat Clark, which is called Undone, and also got this one, which is called A Kiss in the Dark, so um, I've read more up on this one, so I know more about this than this one I just wanted to just go like crazy and get loads of Cat Clark books to read that's the thing with me like when I like an author I just want to like read pretty much 
everything they've done. Um, but this one is about a girl whose uh, best friend is gay. And she's kind of in love with her best friend. But then, like, he hasn't really come out as being gay to people. But then someone kind of outs him without him, obviously, wanting them to. And he gets very depressed about it. And basically, it results in him killing himself, which is just awful. Because, um, obviously, you know, if you are gay, if you want to come out, that's great. Do it your own time, your own pace. It's never, ever, ever good to out somebody else, you know. And, obviously, it gets to him. He kills himself. And basically the girl, his friend, um, she's so upset and so angry that she wants to find out who was behind the out in, you know, who went online and kind of outed him and made him want to kill himself. So I, I think this is going to be a very deep emotional book, um, but I think it's going to be great. As I say, Cat Clark is just a fantastic author. And this one is called A Kiss in the Dark. It says, can love survive the biggest lie of all? Loving the cover, by the way. The cover is so cool. Look at that. Um, so as I said, I can't really remember what this book was about. I just remember reading up about it on Goodreads and knowing it was by the author. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get this one. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. Like I just, oh, honestly, I love it when I find an author that I love their writing style because I just want to like read everything I've ever wrote. Uh, so that's um, those books. This is the book that I'm currently reading. So as soon as I finished Girlhood, I started this one. I got this on eBay. By the way, um, this one I got in WH Smith's and these two I've got from the library. And back to this one. Uh, See, so yeah, I got this one on eBay. Do you really know who you're talking to? So this is called Follow Me Back by Nikki Cloak. And I was very excited because I tweeted Nikki uh, yesterday and said, I'm reading your book. I'm loving your book. And she retweeted me and replied. And I was like, oh, my God. I get proper fangirl when authors reply to me and stuff. I don't know if that's weird, but there we go. Um, so first of all, how cool is this uh, cover? Like, it's just so cool. It looks like a phone, obviously. Um, and you've got the little low battery sign up here and, you know, the text speak. And I just and you can see, obviously, like the smashed screen of a phone. And I just love it. Even the little like signal things up here. It's just absolutely brilliant. I, lo I love book covers. Like I know they say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I kind of do. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I really love it. Um, it's basically this bit catfish kind of theme here. A girl has gone missing and they're kind of like trying to find out, you know, where she's gone. Did she run away? Did someone kind of take her? Um, she was, you know, talking to someone online. So they're kind of trying to figure out who it is. And have they got anything to do with her disappearance? I'm loving it. Honestly, I'm literally loving it. I'm on page 79. And I think I'm going to probably get this finished by tonight. Honestly, or maybe tomorrow. But it's so good. It's, it's just so good. So, yes, you've guessed it. I went online and have ordered other Nikki Cloak books because just absolutely amazing author. So, yeah, that's that one. Definitely check this out. Like, so, well, Check out all these books, but seriously, check this book out. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, right, so what have we got here? Uh, this one was also in the Zoella Book Club. As I say, like, I really like the selection of books that are in this book club. Um, so this is called After the Fire by Will Hill. Um, I'm not really sure like if this is going to be for me or not. But I just I don't know, I just thought, thought it sounded quite interesting and um I thought I'd give it a go. You know, sometimes I'm just kind of drawn to books. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's not the kind of genre that I would read, but I'm just drawn to them. Um, it says Father John controls everything inside the fence and Father John likes rules, especially about never talking to outsiders. Because Father John knows the truth. He knows what is right and what is wrong. He knows what is coming. Moonbeam is starting to doubt, though. Uh, she's starting to see the lies behind Father John's words. She wants him to be found out. What if the only way out of the darkness is to light a fire? See, like, I find it really intriguing and interesting. And I don't know, maybe something with a cult or something. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know if that's the truth what it's about but that's what I'm feeling it could be kind of cult like maybe which you know is pretty cool I read a book called The Girls a little while ago which was amazing and that had a kind of similar cult like storyline so you never know um, and the fact that Sarah Pimbra had said it was good was just like yeah because I love Sarah Pimbra Behind Her Eyes was an amazing book so 
yeah, I got that one. So that was from WH Smith. Um, this one I got on eBay. So this is called The Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle. Now, um, I read a book recently called Spellbook of the Lost and Found and loved it. Like, seriously, it was so good. I've read some, like, really, really good books lately. It's great. I hate it when I go through, like, a phase of reading, like, books that aren't so good or even books that I just don't enjoy at all. So I have to, like, just give up reading, which is really sad. But sometimes if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. Do you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I read the um, spell, book, spell book of the Lost and Found, really liked it, and looked up online for other books that she'd done. And I found this one, The Accident Season. This was like her sort of main book, apparently, like a, a bigger seller, I think. But it looks really cool. A buried fear, forbidden love, every secret is an accident waiting to happen. So I think something happens like every uh, time, every year. Oh, let's just read the back. It's probably easier. It's the accident season, the same time every year. Bones break, skin tears and bruises bloom. Um, so it seems quite mysterious and like, I want to know, it says here, um, uh, starting to ask questions, all of her family secrets will rise to the sur surface, intoxicating, devastating, dark and intense. I love that. Like, I love like reading like descriptions of a book and if it says things like intense and intoxicating, I'm like, oh yeah. So yeah, got that and uh, that looks really good. Got this one as well from eBay. Um, it's called Dangerous Girls by Abigail Hass. And it says two girls plus one boy equals murder. This has had such a good review. Um, I can't remember the book that it was, but I, I read a, a similar book. And I don't know if you're on Goodreads. I love Goodreads. Um, but yeah, on Goodreads it says books that are similar. And uh, a lot of people are sort of saying that if... I can't remember the other book that it was. But anyway, if I like that book try this one kind of thing and a lot of people were saying this was like really really good so I do listen to reviews like sometimes I think you know you should make up your own mind but I think if you see like loads and loads of people saying good things about a book it's kind of like well do you know what you know it's got to be a good sign you know um, but yeah Dangerous Girls um, yeah a murder kind of you know thriller I think they go on holiday or something and uh, oh there we go spring break and uh, there's a murder and yeah it's supposed to be really good it's like a proper good thriller and I got that on eBay for like two pound or something so you know really good condition it is used but like it doesn't look in bad condition at all it looks pretty much new like, it's really worth going on eBay and Amazon you know if you're looking for books and stuff because sometimes like, I love waterstones I love waterstones but they can be a bit expensive so like if you go online you can get them so much cheaper and always look up like you know if you're not bothered about having secondhand books which clearly I'm not what it's worth looking up the secondhand ones because they are cheaper you know and some of them you know they might have I mean this one's in good condition but some of them that are secondhand books might just have like a little you know fold on the page or something like that or a few marks or whatever but you can still read it it still looks fine so it's worth doing that if you want some cheaper books anyway I'm rambling sorry <laughs> this one I got on um, eBay as well Veronica Henry the forever house and uh, it says the house of your dreams but can this dream last forever so can I just say like Veronica Henry is one of the most awesome authors ever like, I've loved so many of her books that she's done whether it's a short story or whether it's like a proper book um, just amazing like seriously love her books and she's a lovely lady she's spoke to me quite a bit on Facebook over the years and Twitter uh, which I love I love it when authors reply to you and just you know it's kind of kind of sweet makes me all fangirl um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to read this I hadn't heard um, of her doing a new book for a while so I went online and saw that she'd bought this out and I was like oh my god why have I not heard about this so I ordered it and uh, yeah very excited to get this very I like the, the way her books are very romantic but they've also got lots of twists and turns and she's very much like the author that really gives them characters time so you feel like you get to know the characters in depth which I love um, so yeah looking forward to read that this one I picked up from Sainsbury's always go shopping for groceries and come out with a book <laughs> me and Nathan go shopping and I'm like babe can we just look in the book section he's like babe you've already got too many books I'm like, I know, but I still always do 
get into the book section and kind of drag him over <laughs> and end up with a book. Uh, so yeah, this is called The Day She Disappeared by Christabel Kent. Uh, your best friend will always be there for you, won't she? Uh, so this looks like a thriller. The girl goes missing and her best friend is trying to find her. Um, and is it a case of, you know, has she disappeared on purpose? Or, you know, something more sinister and darker happened. Um, could it be the best friend who's involved? Or could the best friend be genuine and helping to look for a friend that's gone missing? We don't know. But I really like the cover. I thought it looked pretty cool with the dress and that. And when I read about the storyline, I was like, yeah. I love those kind of thrillers. The books that make you think, you know. Next up, I've got Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I absolutely love V.E. Schwab. She has done some fantastic books. Here's some of them here. Um, I just finished reading these, actually, recently. This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet. Um, they were great. Like, seriously, so great. And uh, she obviously also done the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, which... I loved so much. I was really sad when it ended, actually. Um, a Dark Shade of Magic, Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so I'd heard about this book, and I was like, you know what? It's V.E. Schwab. I want to buy this. And once again, also fangirled when she uh, liked my tweet on Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's supposed to be epic and gripping. A Twisted Tower of Ambition, Desire and Superpowers. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, it's supposed to be, like, more kind of, um, like, kind of comic book, kind of hero, magic kind of thing with special powers. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's similar to... Um, I don't know if it's similar to A Dark Shade of Magic or if it's just something completely different, but it sounded cool... And I like trying new things when it comes to books as well. And as I say, V. E. Schwab, love her writing, so I wanted to check it out. And apparently this was so popular, it was intended to just be like a standalone novel, but apparently people love this so much, they decided, well, she decided to do a second one, like the follow-up, which apparently comes out, I think it's next year possibly. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I got that, uh, got that on eBay. This one I got in a charity shop for like 50p, I think it was. Thursdays in the Park by Hilary, uh, Hilary Boyd. As autumn leaves fall, a love affair blossoms. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I did get this because I was just like completely blown away by the beautiful cover. It's like awesome. It's like that autumn kind of scene and the tree. It's like in a heart shape and all the leaves and flowers. And yeah, I just thought it was really like sweet. Um, apparently two people meet in a park and they talk and they share secrets. And I think there's obviously a bit of romance. Um, so yeah, I like that kind of thing because like I love a good romance sometimes. Like, I love reading all my thrillers and stuff like that and my you know, fantasy, but sometimes I just want a good old fashioned love story. Um, and I love going to the park and I said to Nathan, like, I want to save this book for like aut um, autumn time and just like sit in the park in autumn reading this, maybe even on a Thursday. <laughs> I literally read this on a Thursday in a park in autumn. So we'll see. Okay, so the last book that I want to show you is this one. It was sent to me from Bonnier Publishing Company. A big thank you uh, to a lovely lady called Tina who sent me this. Big thank you, Tina. I'm very excited to read this book. And uh, yeah, Claudia Gray, Defy the Stars, Love is the Ultimate Rebellion. And I'd seen this a few times in Smith's and I was like, ooh, that looks so good. Um, but I didn't get it. And then literally I went on Twitter and I can't even remember how it happened, but I think I was being my normal cheeky self. And I just kind of tweeted this Tina lady and I was like, hiya, I've got a YouTube channel. I'm a bookworm. I'd love to do a review of your book. And she's like, okay, cool. So she sent me this copy and I'm going to, as I say, be doing a separate video and reviewing it and promoting it and stuff like that. It's so cool. Um, love the cover, by the way. Like, really, really, really love the cover. And it says here, for fans of Divergent, which I am. I love Divergent so much. Uh, so this is like a sci-fi kind of fantasy, romance kind of drama. I just, oh, it looks so good. I've got a little poster here as well, which was cool. Um, Defy the Stars. Interstellar meets Blade Runner. 
looks pretty cool right so yeah as I say I will be doing a separate video on this one um, but yeah that is um, the books for this video and once again look at this awesome packaging they sent me I need to know we can get packaging like this because normally I just get like the boring white envelopes <laughs> or the boring brown envelopes I've never seen packaging like this this is like so awesome when I write to say thank you for the book I'm gonna say where did you get that packaging because it's too cool <laughs> it's like holographic look you can see you move in the light it kind of changes color Anyway, I'm getting a bit too excited about um, packaging there. But yeah, they are my books. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Tell me what book or books uh, interested you the most. Uh, have you read any of these books? And have you got any books that you recommend that I check out? Uh, please comment down below and let me know. Okay. <laughs> right, so I'm going to tidy up and then I'm going to... Um, basically get on with some reading because you know I'm a bookworm once again this is the book I'm currently reading follow me back by Nikki Cloak loving it I'm loving it anyway thanks for watching please subscribe please click like bye <laughs>